Hello beer tubers and welcome to yet another beer review with me Peter the Master of Puppets today looking at another Belgian beer. And this one was given to me by a good, fr a good friend of mine called Peter as well uh, from, from uh, Norway who was on holiday in Spain of all places and he picked up some Belgian beer for me actually that's kind of funny. Um, he doesn't know much about beer but whenever he travels he usually picks up stuff for me so that's cool. And this is Judas on 8.5%. This is a Belgian strong golden ale in the same vein as Duval. And if you know, all of you guys know Duval, it's a classic Belgian beer. Now this is kind of the interpretation of, of a Duval, because that happened a lot in Belgium, where all after Duval was brewed, a lot of Belgium, because of the popularity of it, a lot of Belgian breweries tried to make a similar type beer, uh, which this one is. Now this one is brewed by Alkenmaas, which is a brewery that is owned or uh, uh, it's a, a, like a collection of brands that is owned by Heineken. Uh, they also do the Grimbergen line of beers, which is a really good introduction to Belgian beer, so I guess this is going to be similar. So we got it poured. Looks like your average Belgian strong gold nail. Nice, hazy, golden yellow color. A little bit of a white head. Let's take out your aroma. Yeah, classic Belgian strong golden nail. Not as much going on as in Duval. Duval is more complex. I'm picking up some wheezy nose, uh, some. A white grape, a little bit of a green apple character, green apple skin. Slight sugary quality along with the wheat. A little bit of a chewy, kind of bready feel with a wheaty note. Touch of clove maybe, touch of spice. Yeah, it feels like a more muted version of Duval. Well, let's give it a taste. Cheers, guys. Yeah. That is exactly what I expected. A perfect like beginner Belgian beer, but for my palate, it's just like a good, solid beer. It's it's not anything great and mind blowing. It's just it's tasty. I mean, it's good for a hot summer day like this. Just not the fact that it's on eight and a half percent alcohol, but it's refreshing. Lighter mouthfeel actually compared to it's almost got the mouthfeel of a pilsner without the the excess of carbonation. You get the traditional kind of. Actually, it feels less and less complex the more I take a sip. It's got a solid bitterness too, like a bitterness, slight hoppy, um, spicy hop character like you'd get from Saas. And I'm sure they've got some of these traditional like Czech or German hops in here. A little bit of the breadiness, a little bit of that crisp wheaty feel, slight white grape, and also some, some kind of... Um, the green apple skin flavor lingers, not really like the juicy green apple, but that's about it. It's a it's a really simple beer, but for what it is, it's drinkable and refreshing. Um, not anything I'll pick up particular if you're already uh, familiar with something like Duval or other Belgian strong gold nails. But if you're a beginner and you're new to Belgian beer, this would be a good place to start because this won't uh, be way too crazy or intense, and it's got a nice kind of spice character to it as well. So yeah. Good stuff, kind of, but not anything I'd seek out again. So yeah, guys, rating-wise, for the Judas by Alkenmaas slash Heineken. I'm going to go 69. I mean, it's just close to be a good beer, but for me, it's kind of like an average, above average, or average, above average beer. Uh, not all in the good territory, really, but almost. So yeah, I mean, it's one you'd, I'd say, check out if you're a beginner to Belgian beer. Um, but then again, there, there are there are others that are better. I think their uh, Alkin Moss Green Bag in line is much better than this. Uh, but yeah, so interesting, solid enough stuff. So yeah, guys, definitely let me know what you think of Alkin Moss Judas if you've had it. And thanks a lot, Peter, for picking this up for me. Um, it was fun to try. So yeah, guys, as always, remember to comment, subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page and Twitter. I'm going to say cheers, and I'm going to see you guys in another beer review.